What's up, Internet? In this video, I'm going to discuss my thoughts on the new character in Tekken 7 named Claudio. Uh, initially, the first thing we saw about this character was actually just a photograph. And immediately, everyone thought, wow, this character looks exactly like Maxi from Soul Calibur, from the Soul Calibur series. Uh, and I totally agreed. Then, there was immediately a rumor that his name is Maxwell. Uh, and I took quite a liking to that name. So at this point, uh, my nickname for Claudio is Maxwell. Um, when I first saw images of the character's aesthetic design, just as far as a picture goes, I was d definitely disappointed. I mean, it's pretty clear as far as hair, as far as facial structure, and as far as costume, uh, the character looks very similar to Maxi from the Soul Calibur series. But... Once we started to see location test footage of the character actually being played, uh, I started to get some high hopes for the character. Initially, because of the way he stands, kind of like Miguel, straight up, and the way he crouches in uh, kind of a, a, a vertical posture type of way, he still kind of uh, looks a little bit like Miguel. But when we started to see people begin to get better with the character and begin to use more moves and s string moves together, he actually has a very unique fighting style. Though he does still share some moves with Miguel, as well as have some lows that kind of resemble Anna's lows, I feel like his character design, when it's actually applied to a match, looks very unique. And he does have a lot of stuff that we really don't understand how it works yet. Like, for example, his right hand can catch on fire, kind of like Dormammu's power of the stance. Uh, so we don't really know exactly what that does. We don't know how that affects his gameplay. But um, there is some depth here that is unexplored. So I'm really excited to see what all these little intricate details mean with this character. But... Overall, his super looks pretty cool. He shoots kind of a blue arrow across the room, and, you know, it looks cool, cinematic. Uh, he also has one of my favorite moves uh, of all time, Genocide Cutter, uh, from Rugal in the King of Fighters series. So I'm really, really excited and hopeful for this character. He kind of has a few moves that resemble other characters that we've seen before. Kind of has a Lars thing going on with some of his dashes in and out. Uh, and, you know, overall, I, I'm very, very hopeful, especially considering how disappointed I was when I initially saw the artwork and saw how similar to Maxi he looks. Overall, at this point, I'm very excited about Claudio. I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store for the character. Uh, there is a lot to... Uh, every single character in the Tekken series has a lot to it, so it's very difficult to judge based on just a couple of location test matches that are played by obviously noobs because nobody really knows how to play the character at all. So it's very hard to judge, but I have to say that I am excited about this character and compared to the other character, uh, Car Carolina or whatever her name is, uh, I gotta say, he looks way, way cooler, way more unique, way more, um, uh, you know, it's almost like this is a vision that they had. And uh, Katarina, on the other hand, she's just kind of like whatever, you know, it doesn't seem like there's much um, creativity applied there. So uh, among the new characters, I'm really, really excited about Maxwell. He looks cool. He's got Genocide Cutter. He's got some blue shit on his right hand. You know, I I'm excited. It looks like this could be a welcomed addition to all the present fighting styles we have in Tekken 7. If you want to keep up with this avalanche of Tekken 7 information that's coming out, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody.